Good morning, class family. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start in the top right-hand corner with today's date. May 29th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Wednesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letter sounds and CVC words. Next, we will read a poem. Then we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. After that, we will share our thinking about a book. Last, we will write the sounds that we hear. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, class family, we're going to look back and reread the message. Remember, that's what good readers do. They reread. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start in the top right hand corner with today's date. I noticed the spelling for this month. There's a cap letter M, then A, Y. What does that say? You're right, I heard some of you, it does say May. Notice the capital letter M that starts that month of the year. Good writers capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. Okay, readers, let's reread from top to bottom and left to right. May 29th, 2024, dear class family, after the greeting, I noticed a punctuation mark. It starts on a line and does a little curve. Do you know the name of this punctuation mark? I heard some of you. It is a comma. If you knew that, go ahead and kiss your brain. Remember, kiss your hand, stick it on your head. You'll see commas within the message. When you're writing the date after the number for that day of the month, you're also going to have commas after the greeting in a letter, after transitional words and phrases, as well as at the very bottom, right before your signature, whether you're writing love, from, sincerely, by, whatever your closing is. There'll be a comma there as well. You could be listing things and there may be commas within that. So good writers know where to use punctuation marks. In addition to commas, you'll see other punctuation marks at the end of sentences. Do you know the names of some of those punctuation marks? Well, let's review. Period, exclamation point, also called an exclamation mark, and question mark. Well, you'll see those punctuation marks, all of them, within the message as well as for our question of the day. Okay, readers, let's see the first sentence. Today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Notice the capital letter that starts that sentence and the period at the end. Good writers start sentences with capital letters and end with punctuation marks. Look at the second sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day, working on being a portrait of a graduate. We're practicing being a great communicator and collaborator by speaking clearly with our mouths and listening with our ears. That's what good communicators do. All right, class family, on this 10-day countdown of kindergarten, let's go ahead and review the sequence of what we're doing this morning in language arts. Remember, the sequence is the order of events from beginning to end. All right, say this transitional word with me. First, 
First, we will learn letter sounds and CVC words. All right, just like we do every day in kindergarten, it's crunch time. We're going to use so many resources, including our word wall, the electronic version projected on the smart board with the foundations cards. We'll review letter sounds, pictures match that word, American Sign Language, and we'll also go through the high frequency words for kindergarten. These are the words you need to know, read, and spell to get ready for first grade. They're also called fast words, sight words, or when using you fly, heart words. We have our first grade words too that we're going to be reading to help build fluency so we can become better readers and writers as well as becoming more prepared for first grade. Okay, we have our sound wall in class with all of our consonants and vowels learning how to shape our mouths for those because we're using you fly too and you know it. We're reviewing CVC words so we're tapping out dun, 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 phonemic awareness, tapping that beginning, middle, ending sound and saying that whole word and you know it class family since we're reviewing CVC words today. We're going to get up. We're going to move our bodies. We're going to pump our brains with knowledge and break the CVC words down for that beginning, middle, and ending sound and clapping the whole word and looking it on the screen and reading it as well. It's going to be great review and it's going to be so much fun today at school. All right, check out this transitional word starts with an N. Next. Next, we will read a poem. We will. We're going to be rereading the poem, Summer Melon. Summer Melon, full of water, full of sweet, juicy, messy treat to eat. Dessert of summer, picnic jewel, ruby red, and oh, so cool. All right, we're going to do something else. Oh, see this transitional word starts with T-H. Then, then we will go on Lexi and do literacy centers. We will go on dun dun dun, dun Lexi Core 5 reading program. You're going to log on to your iPads independently. Pump your brains with knowledge. Pass more units. Those of you on second grade, keep going. First grade level students, keep on going so you can make it to second before we turn in our iPads. And those of you finishing up kindergarten, you can do it. Keep going. Get kindergarten Lexia done. And let's start first grade. You can do it. All right. See this transitional phrase? After that. After that, we'll share thinking about a book. We will be, we'll be a great communicator. I listen and ask questions so I can understand. We're going to speak so clearly, share our thinking, and it's going to be such a great day at school. Oh, check out this transitional word. Starts with an L. Ready? Last. Last, we will write the sounds that we hear. We will. And that's what good writers do. So we'll be saying things and writing the sounds that we hear and using other resources within the room. What a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fan. Fantastic. Our question for today is going to be a sharing question. Who is your favorite superhero? Why? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator. Who is your favorite superhero? Why?